Welcome to the trap. Get your dad Welcome body the in the trap. back. Welcome to the trap. Get your dad Welcome body the in the trap. back. Welcome to the trap. Tripping better than slipping. Welcome to the trap. But sometimes we tripping. Welcome to the trap. Where we joking rap. Gut busting laughs. Hand slapping laps. Girl slapping laps. Get you through your day. And it's free of cost. Don't you laugh too loud. Don't get fired by your boss. Welcome to the comedy trap house. Comedy trap house. Yo, 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 it's looking real black and beautiful today, y'all. Welcome yes, back to another episode of the Comedy Trap House. I am your host, Rome Green Jr. In the building with me, I got Emmanuel. Yo, yo, what's good? And, uh, you know, usually Emmanuel ain't this close to me because I don't really fuck with him like that. I but completely agree. We feel mutual. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I do not like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But today, I guess I'm going to have to get along with oh, this man, guy. He's just rubbing my shoulders, man. <laughs> <laughs> but we have two beautiful guests. Uh, we have Wendy and Eugenia. And listen, before we before we deep dive into this, these ladies are entrepreneurs. They're beautiful. They're black. They out there handling their business. And most of all, they taking care of your private parts out here. You let's know, go, what let's saying? clap it up for the you private know, like, parts. Clap, clap it up, it up for the private up. parts let's out here. These la- ladies doing the they guys have work. a product called Condition Her Skin Care for Down There. Mm-hmm. Unscented, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So you you know we're gonna dive into this. We're gonna do a deep dive. Mm-hmm. That product's gonna do a deep dive. Oh yeah, That's no what it's no do. pun intended. <laughs> right into your drawers, <laughs> into, your, into your stanky ass. <laughs> it's gonna clean all that up. <laughs> so we can definitely gonna dive into how you guys doing. How you we're doing? Well, yeah. thank you, yeah. thank you yeah. for the hospitality. Of course, it's of a beautiful course. day. You ain't even getting any water. You, you, you no, I gave us some water. No, no, he no you got some. Okay, oh, give you a bottle. Oh, you owe us money. You know that. So we gotta write that off. There you go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, long as you long as you feeling long as you feeling good, you know that's that's what matters. Thank you guys for coming out here joining us. You know, on this podcast, we like to highlight black business. We got mm-hmm. all type. We have uh, our homeboy, the Purpose Patch. They got a mm-hmm. hat company, black owned. We got glasses we got that glasses, are made by black companies. Black company. We got games. We got books. Brand it's BS, all types yeah, of things, yeah, man. So thank you guys for coming on. So, yeah, But we just want to dive into a few things before we jump into you guys, because you guys are going to be the main topic of today's podcast. Because most importantly, I want uh, the black entrepreneurs, even black women who listen to this podcast, to be inspired by what you guys are doing. So... We get that, but before or we get be turned that. off, because <laughs> if you ain't ready for this lifestyle, and I got questions for them, if you might not be ready for this lifestyle, you might need to you sit back, sit on back, you relax, know, relax, think about it. You know, um, but we're gonna t- now we're gonna, we're gonna dive into something real quick. So I came across this video. I'm sure the internet came across this video. I just happened to be on the internet, right? And uh, it was of a, you know, I don't like to highlight white men too often, <laughs> but this white man. Did some man shit. He did the Lord's work. He did the Lord's work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Work. So he did what you supposed to do. There's this video, surveillance camera type of video where you see this cheerful white guy. He comes out. He's like, "Oh, it's gonna be a nice day." Uh, what he say? He said, "I think I'm about to coffee. go." Yeah, I'm gonna go get coffee. a coffee. Yeah, it just, you know, it looked like one of them <laughs> beginnings of them wholesome white movies. You oh, like, show, like Full House. Yeah, it like, looked like the beginning of Full yeah, House. Yeah. They're pushing into the bridge. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, cause what am I watching? Cause all I saw was the caption that said, "This is the wildest 46 seconds I've seen." <laughs> and so I was like, "All right." So I'm looking. I'm like, "Okay, this, everything's going good." I was like, "It's going too good, though." It's like you, <laughs> it's like it's going too good. Then I see his wife come out. She got like a little uh, kennel thing in her hand from I guess she's holding the cat or something else. And all of a sudden you hear, Aah! I was like, "What?" What is that? The fuck is that? And all you see is you her hear her scream, screaming. which was just about the same. She couldn't get, she couldn't get between yeah, the she cars. She couldn't get between she the cars. Didn't... You know, she was a little thick. You know what I'm saying? Thick. She couldn't get between the cars. All of a sudden, you see this white man roll over there. All you see is a scuffle. He comes out. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a bobcat. Or it's, what do you say? It's a mountain lion. What I can't. Do you I say think it's it was a bobcat. bobcat. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bobcat, and he's holding it like Simba from the Lion King. <laughs> yeah, he is about to anoint it like the next king. And I'm like, why is he? Because yeah. you know, black people, we just take something into it. He just right. holding it, holding it, and then he does this hurricane toss of this cat. You hear the cat hit the ground with a thud, and then he comes running. He pulls out a strap. I'm like, this guy. <laughs> 
Nah, he said, I'm going to shoot that motherfucker. He pulls it out. I didn't see him pull oh, out yeah. a gun. Oh, yeah. I did pull it real quick. I did not see oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to keep, like, I'm, I'm going to show says, you. like, I'm going to shoot I'm going to yeah, shoot I think that. I heard him say that, but damn. <laughs> I'm going to shoot that motherfucker. Like, so I, I said, oh, no, nah, look. So, we're going we gonna to just, you can listen, guys, who of you are. Um, I need to wash my car. I need to wash my car, you car. know. <laughs> you know. Is this North Carolina? I don't know. That's a joke. <laughs> she is oh screaming for her. It's a bobcat. <laughs> it ran back towards the. He got a gun in his hand. Oh, he does have a gun. I'm gonna shoot, no, shoot that fuck. Hey. When the white man says I'm gonna shoot that fucker, I don't know where to be scared or not. That's a that's yeah, a right, lot going on right now. <laughs> there's, a lot going on. there's a lot going on right that's now. That's more warning than some. Oh, have, listen. Right, right, right. Yeah. The more warning but I wish I wish he would just grab us up and put us down <laughs> and, say, and, say, oh, and just and just stop. Yeah, just like, stop. Beyond going and shooting, say, nigga. But Goddamn. when I seen that, I said, "Now I said, let me put myself in this white man's shoes." I don't know, y'all. I don't know. If, if you would do that? But no, I'm going to have to do it. No, you got to have to. Here's you the have thing. To. It's like, certain it's... things that a man has to do once he becomes a dad and a husband. Absolutely. That you that you just have to she do. She agreed with that she said, so yeah, hard. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. She, hold on, hold on. Would that happen if I said, there are some things black women have to do <laughs> when they become hold mothers. Now, and, hold on now. See, there's a whole lot. <laughs> There's a hold on there. <laughs> You're going too far. But and I said like even when like when you become a dad, all fear has to go out the window. Sure. Like if my daughter comes in my room and says, "Dad, I heard something moving in my closet." I can't be like, "Well, you better go figure out what's going on in that closet cuz I don't want to go back there. I got to go." So when this bobcat comes, he but you know what? I don't even think he thought about it. I no, think he he, he grabbed didn't. that cat just like it's me and you today and he launched that song. Yeah. He, he thought he was Trump. He oh. just grabbed that person. <laughs> I wonder, roles reversed, if she was a black woman, if she was a sister. You know, I I don't know. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of questions. Would Big Mama come at the wrong woman that day? She might because I could see I I could kick the shit out of Bobcat. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no. (laughs) She was at a disadvantage. I don't believe it. Backwards, it was behind her. She She couldn't see. She was in between cars. It was right in front of her. No, no, it was it was like because she was walking. She was turned towards the house and turned toward the car. The car or something. It it had to be. And you know, yeah, because I thought she turned. No, see, that that's what I don't like. That right, that shit sounds. That got me. I'm gone. Like something out of a scary movie. I was like, I don't know. That shit sounds scary. Because the thing, I'm like, what triggered? And I said. I think whatever was in that thing she was holding, what, like I feel like it was another animal mm-hmm. in there. Uh-huh. I just know the next couple weeks she better give that man <laughs> the best goddamn head of his life. Oh yeah, oh, 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 oh yeah. To know. He, yeah. Deser- he, he saved deserved. your life. Yeah, yeah, because she would have been even if she wouldn't have died, she would have been hurt really bad True. because yeah, he that. That animal sounded angry. Sounded mm-hmm. very but when angry. He grabbed the cat like he looked he at hold, it for a minute. I think like, he's, that's that. In, in, he you're in shock. shock. Yeah, yeah, you you yeah. like. It's a bobcat. <laughs> it's either that or he and said, then, "I want you to know. I want you to know who about to kill you, nigga. Like I'm. He, you. This is me, and I'm about to launch you right now. And then it, shoot that fucker. He went from such a nice man to a gangster so quick. So pull, quick. Pulled out so the strap quick. and everything. We but can learn from that. But man. that's why you can't be testing people because if somebody would testing him that day, they would have got shot. Yes. He they would have. He was strapped up. He was. He was, he was ready. He was ready. And I was like, I, now I just need to know where this was. I couldn't find out. It had to be one of them country ass towns, yeah. like either where I'm from in North Carolina or somewhere on in the southern states. That's what, what I feel. What they like say, Kim Pill, high, high point North no, Carolina, high, or high, <laughs> point North high Car- point North Carolina. North Carolina. <laughs> but you know, I just wanted to talk about that because the video was wild to me when I seen it. I said, "This is some man shit." Yeah, did man. it make you? Cha- did it challenge you as a man? Like, absolutely. Make you think, like. If this happened to me, what would I No, absolutely, because first thought I said was, I don't know. 
<laughs> but you do know. You but do, I do know. know. You gotta do but that. You have you just, to. But you, it, you just have to, no matter what happens, because it just is what it is. And because we live in the internet world, so if I was the man and I didn't do it, and that video came out, oh, it's this. Yeah. They'll tell you. They'll, they'll tell oh, you yeah. a part worse than that bobcat, <laughs> but uh, the internet Look at this go nigga going go, go run. Oh, this you funny away comedian nigga is gonna run away from his wife. Ladies, don't date comedians. <laughs> They do nothing but run away from bobcats. <laughs> it's a bobcat. <laughs> what you want me to but you do? know what? As a woman, you never know what kind of man you have. You don't. Not right? until those moments. And that moment, yeah. she realized she got a G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's that, like, you know, the next time she walking outside, she's walking outside like, what? Oh, she confident Come now. On. That's what I'm saying. Who on what? Who she, on it? She always, See, no, don't be doing that. Nah. <laughs> then, then you try to put the man in more issues. <laughs> <laughs> That's that shit. Like, hey, baby, my man will whoop your ass. Hey, I'll no, be no, like, no, listen, no. I ain't you know. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing worse than getting that in, shit. ain't nothing worse than getting in a fight for somebody when you don't ready for like fighting. I, I ain't here. I ain't here to be fighting. I'm trying Trust to have me. a good time. Trust me, if you throw the bobcat, you fighting every time. <laughs> no, no, I fight a bobcat before I fight the rock. That's a big nigga. I'm not fighting him. I'm like, baby, listen, we gotta learn. We gotta we fight talk. our battles. Based like, on what you say, <laughs> man, let the bobcat let attack. The bob- <laughs> Because if you got to deal with more problems afterwards, <laughs> nah. Oh my goodness. That's funny, but um, uh, also, so one of our fans sent us this maybe a couple weeks back, and I wanted to wait for Cam to get back on here, but I was like, nah, we got the ladies on here, so I want to talk about this. Yeah. So it was from a, I guess, a post on Facebook or somewhere like that, but it says, "I feel like men should spend a thousand dollar minimum on the first date." Shut the fuck up. So that's first <laughs> off. That's first off. So now let me go into the whole thing. As a matter of fact, it starts off with confrontation. She woke up ready for violence. It starts off with let's argue. Oh. Okay. If you can't afford to spend a thousand dollars on the first date with her, you don't have no business dating. Go pick up a second job, brokey. Any real nigga cash apps her money for an outfit to wear on the first date because he don't want to, cash he don't want her wearing some shit other niggas seen already. First off, niggas wear the same jeans all the time, so and the people wear the same clothes. And what if and I use them? What if I use that? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, <laughs> send her a Uber SUV to pick her up for dinner. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Order appetizers, entree, rounds of shots in between drinks. After that, you should always head to a lounge to catch a vibe. Got to get a bottle and a section. Then afterwards, Uber SUV her home and give her some extra cash to keep her in the purse just in case of some emergencies. If not, you just want some broke nigga who want to chill, quote unquote. Stop wasting her time, respectively. This this Respectfully. type of, this type of woman is yeah. the reason why people shooting up everything. Yeah, that's that that's because they they dealing <laughs> what, with this is that, is that shooting up. It, it, it gotta be. be. It has to be. It right? has to be. Un- unfortunately, the most it's probably unrealistic. That's like, not all true. The opinions, but the most unrealistic. Um, the, the, the no life experience. Like what? First like, off. Why? Why he gotta be broke? Because no shade to twenty five year olds. Hey guys. No, no <laughs> shade. Big shade. Big shade. But no. Uh, <laughs> first off, why he gotta be broke if he don't want to get a section at a club what if the nigga don't like clubbing what if he don't want to go to the club what happens for the women that don't drink what happens he doesn't drink what so happens what's to, the bottle what's what's, what's, what's the, the bottle i just want to know what is he getting out of this that's and i'm about to say see now if i ask for some vagina at the end of the night value. you better not turn up your face to look at me crazy because i'm like Man. Yeah, especially at this point, it's man. a business transaction. <laughs> you, you brought up Cash App and all this. I'm like, no, all right, well, I, I mean, uh, something like what? Now. <laughs> like a hug with a booty grab or something. Like, what's going on? Oh, Shit. No, no, no. I just want to know where this this expectation came from. That, like, that's the thing. What? Where did this hip hop was? This, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I can okay. see that. Hip hop and Instagram. You know that when they flash, that's the, never happening with men in LA. No, sh- I love and y'all that's, brothers. That's I'm West Coast all day, but that's a very honestly like. Why do guys in LA East Coast do like yeah. that oh, old no, no, school no. back in the day? Southern or drug money. Or drug or dr- money. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Drug money. Drug Let's money. be real. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Fast money. No, but I want to right. clear though. That's still not LA drug money because I don't know LA drug dealers that are still doing that. Now East Coast, it was just it's a different. I've always felt that way. I feel like yeah. there's a they rock they they putting their women in furs, chinchillas, iced out. It's not. It's always been a little different out here. Yeah. Than how we than how we that's that's like that's mob first thing money. I thought that's about. That's like mob money. That's the first thing I thought <laughs> about when she when she said this. I said, 
these must be dates in expensive places because I can take you on a date in the South for forty five dollars and we'll be having Sorry. a good time. <laughs> We'll, we'll have a good time. Wings galore. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll have a good time Booty. out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> eating, eating wings, throwing axes, you know, you know, doing you know, all that bullshit. You know, so we can so go we can go on over the pinups on the uh, – oh, get that go $10 lap dance, you know what I'm saying? Like, we'd be good to go. But I, when I read this, it kind of just made me mad because I was like, it's probably so many other young women out here with that same type of expectation. And I'm just like, why do y'all expect – that I don't know you. To be honest, on the first date, I, I don't, don't even know that I want to spend that much time with you. To, to that's what I'm saying. For, it sounds like the majority of the money's being spent on your outfit or your fit or whatnot. Because like I've had thousand dollar nights yeah. in a restaurant with friends before, and you know I'm mean, like, we're there for a long time. What if I don't even like you? Like I don't know that I even want to be on a date. That I don't know long your style. You talking about send you money for fits and I don't know. What if I send you? Twenty five dollars till you get a pack of T shirts from Walmart. <laughs> you gonna be mad at me? I'm like, hey, I thought you just want a little extra T shirt money or something like that. White tea. that. And, and it, look, it it also depends on what type of brother you dating. Okay. You trying to date a brother who's yeah. really just trying to you know just ball. Mm-hmm. He ain't really ready to settle down. So maybe taking you out on a thousand dollar date isn't his plan because he don't plan on doing nothing with you anyway. Yeah. You okay. know what I mean? He's okay. just trying to ball out for yeah, a night, yeah. take a beautiful girl just out, have on a his good arm, time, just have a good time. But if you're dating a brother who's trying to build, spending a thousand dollars on a date that's isn't not, in his financial goal. That's not no. That's not realistic. <laughs> you know, it's not really not it's careless to a man like that. It's right. really right. not. And and uh, well, I guess this is also can lead into like, so are you either one of you currently in a relationship or dating? Yes, I'm in a relationship. You're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. I am not. You're in that. Okay. No. I was trying to think of something witty to say, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Very single. Oh, yeah. And I've been married before. So and you've been married before. Two, yeah, so, I've been engaged before. Just to make it down there. But that when don't you, count. But, but okay. when, that don't count. But when you were when you were younger, but you were expect do you feel like expectations of women nowadays are just way different than like when you, when you were twenty five, absolutely. Social media has definitely changed. You know what I'm saying? Like there's such a everybody has a representative, and then the representative has an IG account. Gotcha. <laughs> mm-hmm. and gotcha. So you're gotcha. you're watching the your Instagram avatar. of the avatar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know your representative who's living their best life mm-hmm. with whatever angles and whatever's going on, and so you're just getting you know, and it's just an, an age difference. Eugene and I are different. Yeah. A little bit in a different age bracket than some of the younger women yeah. who are all they have are what they see. Yep. And ev- I, I, who's just said that? You, Method Man just said it recently what? in an Wait. interview. Where are these young Negroes getting all this money? Every week it's a new car reveal because the homie done bought a homie. Oh, that's what you're saying. Uh, yeah, yeah. A, a Bentley, a real. new Rolls Royce. Yeah, a lot like, of it's rent. But where you know, are we even getting these things? And it's, it's, a, and it's a weird line because there are a lot of newer, I guess, you know, business opportunity like a lot of people doing e-commerce and things like so it is a lot of the hustle different it's a hustle right. is different but a lot of it do be cap a lot of it do be a lot of, a lot of it do be a lot of cap and it's more so just a facade just to try to you know keep up they're right. Andre trying to keep up with what everything right. what everything is going on and then with them keeping up makes these women think that oh well since they keeping up let me make sure I keep up and yeah. put my expectations up here and then they be like but don't nobody want me. Well, cause you want a thousand dollars. So they saying that basically <laughs> the women, the women are being addicted to the lifestyle they see online. Yep. And the guys are addicted to the women that like are it, portraying like the baddest bodies in the world. And like I mean, yeah, the yeah. most. Okay. Yeah. And she said, let's argue. I mean, listen, it's all fantasy is, is what, what we're saying. It's been happening in some way, shape or form of course. over yeah. the years, but it's just like exasperated these days. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like on 12. Yeah. Because everybody feels they can have it. Right. Nobody right. could just and be this normal. This generation is way more into like party and, and work. Yeah. Right. So there's some hustlers now, like, you know, the work way hard, that they, that, yeah, they're, they're totally into work hard, play hard. Like yeah, they, yeah. They, you know, even when I'm like, I, I'm a CHRO at my company, okay, so I okay. hire a lot of young people. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And the first thing they want to know is culture. They don't even want to know about the package. 
They want to know about how many vacation days they get. <laughs> Do we allow them to work from home? So they can they have a yeah. lifestyle. Yeah, because yeah. Because their lifestyle is so important to them. And yeah. and our generation, it was about the bread. The first conversation yeah, yeah. we wanted to talk about is, okay, how much, so yeah. how much am I making? Okay, yeah. so how does your 401k work? Mm, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, how much do I have to pay for my insurance? The, these kids yeah. are totally different. They're right. more about like, okay, am I going to be able to go and take my trips and take my Instagram yeah. pictures? And can I, get a, can I get a Soho um a, you mm-hmm. know, a Soho account gotcha. uh, membership. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, that's the gotcha. thing. And I can't say I'm mad at that. Yeah. Because, you know, it's life just about working hard. Yeah. No, life Everybody's is just trying to find their way to be happy. Right. Absolutely. But it's got to be a think- balance, though. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? At the same time, like, it's, it's got to be a balance. Yes, life isn't about just working hard, but at the same time, you can't just go fuck off everything you're doing right. and just not, <laughs> not care about right. life. You know what I'm saying? So... And it, it just I, when I read it, I was just like, "This, this a lot." I would love to know what the <laughs> comments like. I'd love to hear have some men come out and say, "Yeah, that's me." I, on every new date I go on, this, it's at the this thousand one guy said, what I do. "Like, what's the criteria?" <laughs> like, yeah, who gets that? Who gets like? Is you just once a month? You know, this dude said, "Never listen to a dude that says any real nigga or man." It's just a setup <laughs> for insecurity, <laughs> and maybe you know what's hold on. This you know what? That's oh guy? shit! Hold on. <gasps> Plot twist. Oh, it might be a plot twist because they blocked out the name, so we can't really see the uh, name. Oh, well, because I feel like I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. I, I can't tell. It might well, be. It might I be. Know, a game, I can't the tell. game said. The game said. If you taking care of him, he taking care of you. I mean, he said, made, you ain't paying for nothing. He was like, you know, if my woman's taking care of me, I'm I'm paying for everything in her life. And see, there's she nothing wrong nothing. with a dude taking care like there's nothing wrong but, but the just, problem is when he wants to have sex with other women do you have a problem with that well, and that's problem. another thing these young people are different about they have a different way of looking at relationships mm. you know what I mean I'm finding like when I'm talking my, yeah, yeah. you know my daughter's at TSU she's mm-hmm. 20 yeah. she's on the volleyball team gorgeous girl whole mm-hmm. team of gorgeous girls right. that they they look at you know they look at relationships differently now um, it, it is different though yeah you know yeah, what I mean? I mean so yeah. along with the dating world is also like you know some women are you know like young girls they're they're open with you know to dating men who are bisexual mm-hmm. you know in our day that yeah was it was not, different yeah that yeah. wasn't well we thing. also didn't have a term poly in yeah we in didn't yeah. Yeah, yeah we didn't have you a know? lot of terms we didn't know yeah we, we didn't know just, a lot we thought we thought dudes was just cheaters yeah when a lot of them were were poly and didn't have any examples of that or what does that really yeah. mean and that's a really and they don't know really, how to feel. really adult mature yeah. thing and I see a lot of um, it's a weird interesting place because a lot of women in my age you know whether they've never been married or the desire to yeah, be yeah. married I feel like a lot of us are making like I notice a difference even in the way that we we talk to men about what we're interested in and I, and I mm. call my friends on it all the time and I do it too we're really quick to preface with Oh, I'm just looking for a life partner. I'm looking for a partner like like we've really eased up on mm. saying we want to be married when really the majority of the women that I know yeah. want, to be, want to be married. They want some sort of yeah. marriage. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. what does that marriage mean? Is it in the traditional sense? Maybe Are not. you married yeah. and living a poly lifestyle even mm-hmm. in your marriage? Like there are things to be said, but I've noticed it's so, I feel like it's so sad that we can't really be bold and say, yes, I want to be married. I understand the power of two. Because right now they you want, know? they want the career. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a career driven, which is nothing wrong with that. But like, you know, it's what? a problem because the more women now have freedom, the more choices y'all have, the harder it is to see, you know, you could do whatever you want, but when it come down to it, your natural, if your natural instincts, I want to be with a man eventually. There's nothing wrong with but that. See, it's, 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 it's hard how to, we were raised. You know, it's hard to balance girls, the career and I want a man women. that will take care of me. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll say black women were raised girl you go to school yep. you get your education yep. you keep your head in them books yep. you stay away from them boys don't let no man and, and don't yep. let and they'll be there the boy you go get your education yep. you go get that master's you go get that whatever whatever that phd and they'll be there and guess what you went and did all that and you <laughs> came out and you looked around and they done married Susie q because <laughs> yep. you know because i'm telling white white women mm-hmm. are coached differently they literally go to college to connect yeah, oh, yeah. Their, yeah, yeah, their mothers, you know, they brushing hair, Sally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you go get your education. And do you make think... Sure, make sure you, you go on some dates. Make sure you go find your husband. And they go out and they come out 22, 23, 24 
you know, by 25, 26, yeah. 27, a lot of them are married. Yeah. They're on, yeah, they're yeah. on their first, they're, they're owning their first home yeah. mm-hmm. before 30. They got mm-hmm. two cars. It's just a little different. A lot of my friends came up and highly educated, making well into the six figures. I'm not talking about in the hundred Ks. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about the three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah. And <clears throat> they can't buy love. I just feel like a lot of black women are investing more into their uh, their careers than they are into a black man to create a family. You know what I'm saying? So if you're going to invest more into your career, and I want to talk about this with y'all because y'all are career women. Yeah. Y'all that's are, the truth. And that's, that's the, the yeah, truth. That's because, the, because that's the narrative because, that's going around, and that's what it is going That's what's going around. Talk right to because educate. having a man is having someone else that you have to, to, to work with, mm-hmm. that you have to encourage. Mm-hmm. That you have to listen to, mm-hmm. that you have to, you know, figure out what they need and try to be there when they need you. When you have a full time corporate or even Hollywood type position that requires you to be on the clock, literally texting and emailing twenty four seven. I mean that, and then also trying to meet the needs of your partner. Because no matter what anybody says, people always say, "Oh, you got to be whole. You got to be one by yourself." Oh yeah, that's true. You have to be two whole individuals. Yeah. But being in a relationship is having that person that you can call when you're having a bad day. Yep. And not feeling like, oh, I'm going to intrude on her day when she's already busy. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, there is a fine line between being a successful person, yeah. or especially a successful black, black woman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And successful mother, successful, yeah. you know, girlfriend. Like yeah. all of that, it, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot, and it's definitely a juggling act. And you usually something falls through the cracks here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, I even wonder what that. You know, because my, you know, my my mom has you know been married, divorced, and things like that. And you know, currently she's single. So I, I I've been wondering how this. I've been talking to her about like you know how she feel about it, and you know, my mom. You know, she's at this place where she feels like she's you know okay with where she's at and things like that. But then I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like. Maybe you not man. I don't like. I don't, I don't know if your mom know. got a dog too, man. You know she do got. She, well, she, got well, she dog, had a dog. Dog died. Dog, y'all dog. got dogs. <laughs> and dog y'all got dogs. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't learn anything <laughs> else during the pandemic, is that I knew this prior. Yeah. Um, I absolutely don't want to be a single woman. It is not my desire. Eugenie and I are both employed entrepreneurs. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. We both work yeah. demanding day jobs as yeah. executives. Um, while running our business yeah. on the side, and we're both moms. Now, granted, yeah. our children, my son will be 25 this year. Okay. Her kids are in college. Yeah. Um, but I understood the power of two a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Um, not not early enough to save my uh, failed engagement. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, gotcha. hindsight's 2020, and you really start to do the work, but I really did the work, and I was in my early 30s at that time. I went to the relationship counselors, mm-hmm. I read the books. Um, and I and I encourage people to do that, but I absolutely um, what held understand. You back? Yeah, what about what, 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 what was the what's the hold back from where from keep, keeping that relationship? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know we was gonna oh. go there. You ain't know we. Well, was, they trying to go there. We Woo! know. We, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to figure yeah, out. Yeah, like, is it? We just asked because questions. that's usually right? the ex- a nice solid piece of silence right there. Did you notice? That? Yeah, no. So it was, we we brought we we brought up talking before <laughs> yeah. turning on the cameras about Kevin Samuels. Yeah, yeah. Watching, um, a lot of people watching a lot of them, but the question is always ready. asked. I wasn't ready. Okay. And but it, are you ever ready? If you're never really ready, no, you're not ready, I, right? Here's the deal. I think women go in relationships like, I'm looking for my husband. I'm ready to be in Men yeah, don't. Yeah. Men are like, man, I've been hanging out with this girl for two months. I think this is my girl. Like, I think we go together. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's yeah. men, do, I, I, very, I won't say all, because I have had men approach me like, I'm looking for my of course, wife, my yeah, life yeah. partner. But for the majority of it, they get in and they get to know someone. The next thing you know, three months have passed, four months, five months, and it's like, oh, this is my yeah. person. We're yeah. making plans. Um, but no, I I wasn't as and he was younger than me. I wasn't mm. um, ready. I didn't get it then, um, and we had a lot. We had a lot of uh, challenges. Lot of, yeah, um, yeah. But I there are qualities. There are a lot of uh, qualities that he possessed uh, that I am um, looking for in the next person. There was a lot that he didn't. Mm-hmm. Um, gotcha. Just being okay. young. Okay. Um, but yeah. but to younger women, if you were to work through that. You feel you feel like you would have been fine. You could have worked through those differences in the long run. I would have much rather been working through this life as in a partnership with person and understand, and understanding. You know, I think you know. I always get told, "Oh, you're just a hopeless romantic." No, I'm a hopeful romantic. I do believe. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why anyone would go into something thinking like, 
oh, relationships are hard. This could yeah. go bad. You might cheat. I might and cheat. That's, like, but that's how. That's why how do you go into people, it? That's how I used to think. And a lot of that's a lot yeah, of men do, and yeah. and like they really want to have like, oh, well, you. But I, if we're at the beginning stages, why can't I have all the romanticized views and want all the love and the, and but the cool I also, energy? I also think it boils down to it's just be okay with the risk of. It not working out. I, I want like, to dive okay all the way it. in, knowing like, that the shit might not work. It might not work. It might fail miserably. It might. It might. But it the might. thing is, is why wouldn't it work if you're both committed to Absolutely. making it work? Because but, but that that's mean, not that really nothing. Yeah, but, that, but, but, people but, get divorced. All fifty percent people yeah, get divorced. That's <laughs> true. It's not. It's not realistic. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but. I can honestly say from somebody who was married to somebody that they actually loved, like with my whole heart, and yeah, I yeah. still love and, t- you know, deal with today, you know, mm-hmm. as yeah. at, from a love perspective, yeah. maybe not like, you know, in, you know, in love, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I still look out for him. He still yeah. looks out for me. And yeah. He's the father of my children, mm-hmm. has been an amazing father. How long but, y'all been divorced? Oof. Um, 14 years. 14? Okay. So okay. 14 okay. years. Yeah. And why y'all um, get divorced? And why y'all get divorced? Because he Ooh, they hitting us today. Bro. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll tell you. He, <laughs> 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 oh yeah, take a little, take a little sip. <laughs> Number one is we were young. Okay. And when you're young, you you, you don't think the right way to get married. When you get married, wait, 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 wait. But no, it can be. Yes, well, yes. how? Our but grandparents I, got married when I they were was, 14. Was, oh, no, <laughs> like, no, it's no, what you're talking different. about. It's different. No, no, it's no. not because they it's grew different. up and just stuck together. It's different. I was 24. He was 29. He was in the NFL. Uh, Big, huge difference. That's a whole okay. different all right, all right. set of dice okay. going on the table. A little bit. Okay. And so, so what happened with us is that when he got, when he was, when the NFL was over, mm-hmm. and he was going through rebuilding his that, life, that, that identity, right? And he was losing himself and his identity, yeah. and I didn't understand that as a young woman, what that looked like. And then he also was challenged with, you know, with having some trauma yeah, to his head know, because yeah. he had been in the NFL, he had played football his entire life. Man. In the NFL for five years, May you know, I ask, so uh, so he had some issues. May uh, I ask what, what team he played for? Oh, he played for the Bears. He played for oh, he played for a few the okay. Jets, um, the Eagles, oh, and okay. the Vikings. So, quick question: If you could, so you would still be with him if 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 you could turn back the hands of time, if you I being could what turn a back young the or whatever. Hands of this is time, on video. If, 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 this is on yeah, yeah. Keep it real. No, keep it. This is a place to keep it real. This is a comedy trap house, but we keep it real in here. This one, the homegirl be like. Um, Our new tagline <laughs> is the world ain't funny, but it's fair. I mean, the world ain't fair, but, but it's, it's funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 If That's I could turn tagline. back the hands of time and I could look at things from the the knowledge point that I have now, yeah. I wish I would have done more work to save my gotcha. marriage. Okay. Because as like like as one of the things that I think we lose sight of, especially as African Americans, is the power of two. And having to rebuild, yeah, you know. So when you get divorced, yeah. I mean, that completely, you know, yeah, kills you're, everything yeah. you built up. Can't build family point. without right. legacy and, without and wealth and, and, and wealth, and, legacy, all that. Right. And so where we would be today, had we still been a un- unit, be different. Yeah. I mean, even though I'm in a good place now, it would be on a whole nother level. Yeah. And so, um, I think that if I would have been wiser and same thing on his part he yeah. had to be wiser you know too. because mental health wasn't really the th- you know especially right. for black black men i was just telling him i start therapy next week you know what i'm saying because i just wanted to do it but back then you know they'd been like what you going you don't need i to have go. a story about that so in my marriage okay we went to the we went to, we, to the we counseling to the uh, yeah 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 and the council was like she was like i think you have something that is starting to come out about football players she said i think you might have cte like it's like mm. something going on mm. in your brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, I'd like to put you she was like, You need to go through to an extensive whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, we're gonna need to put you in there for like a week so we can just do some testing yeah. and blah blah blah. And he was like, Mardi Gras, it's like in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me that I am not gonna be able to make it to Mardi Gras. She <laughs> at twenty nine years old. Oh yeah, brother. Right. She, I ain't going. I was like, yeah, oh, that nigga nah. said she. You think I ain't? I'm gonna go. Yeah, that that was, CTF can wait for a whole right. another week if it need. CTF. Like no. CTE baby. The ABC the baby. is gonna have to wait. Yeah, the ABC gonna have to wait. <laughs> no, I am not going. So no, that's a so we that's tried. And got it just you. Didn't no, that's that's amazing. All right, so let me ask you this. Yeah. This is this is the big question yeah. for me to y'all. And then we're gonna we gonna jump into y'all. We're gonna yeah. no, jump this into is great. This no, is this good. is kind of a it's part good. of it yeah. because and this is and I'm I'm asking you before we even get into your 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 product, but would you give that all up? Would you give up your business and everything to be with a man that if to take if he took care of everything? 
Would you stop all this right now? Not and a just- good man, the right man. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yes. Woo. <laughs> you, okay, so what do you, okay, just any man? No, 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 no. He I just said, said it. I Don't act like you ain't here. <laughs> Not a good man. The uh, right, Mr. Right? The right man. But I, see, no, and the, Mr. Right ain't your perfection. Yeah, this perfection. is a man that brings home the dough. Yeah, the he's right good. Man. He doesn't hit you. He don't uh, verbally just, abuse you. Think, he don't nothing. He just, yeah. he take care of business. He might have a little shoddy on the side. Say, but uh, that, 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 I'm ready. The shoddy you know, I'm ready. The shoddy. Why? No, the shoddy on the side. Why? The shoddy on the side. He you ain't got to know about that. <laughs> if, if you got a man that everybody wants, I was going, okay? hold on. I'm if you, you if I was you, on the bus, if you have but a man that the shorty on the side, I had to get off. <laughs> I, I heard like, about that. I just be like, oh. get, get your ass back on this bus. If eighty percent of women are getting divorces, fine to... divorces because, and fifty percent of them because they're cheating. That's ridiculous in my opinion. <laughs> I like, like why, why? If, uh, if men are out here, they, you know they want other. This is not a romantic relationships for a lot of men. This is just like, yo, we just like different vaginas from time to time. <laughs> you are the one I oh, marry. I might want a different penis from this, time to time. Nah, it's, okay, it's oh, so is it mutual? Who, who, who? No. can have a shorty and I can have a shorty too? Is your house I paid for? Back on the bus. Are the kids got their braces? <laughs> Uh, is, is it we'll you? Why you need to be doing that? Are you even doing it? Are you doing it just because you're emotional about it? Because I'm not no, doing I'm that. Just I'm just saying, if, if we're talking about, hey, he gets his needs met, and it's a conversation that's on the table. You getting your needs met? Men, you get him. In, uh, that's just, why you gave up condition her to get with this man because you want him to take care of your ass. You taking care of, but don't be mad because other women like him too and like want right, to dabble from time to time. Listen, uh, how do you feel, real quick? Yeah, real, real quick. Go how ahead. do you feel about that? Go ahead. Shorty on the side, <laughs> off the table. Okay. You know, completely off the table. Not completely off the table, to be honest. We just need to have a talk. That's all we need is a negotiation. I need point. to understand. <laughs> I need to understand what that what that is because I may have some things right. that, you know. You have questions. Um, yeah, I might need. And he says you can't do that. Just Let's just be clear about uh, that. You, yeah, no, it is off the because table. Because nine times he, he out of ten women do it out of emotion. Like, it's out of a. Like, it is a fair. How, how much? It's just men How much and is women the house are just you built want? different. <laughs> we just built different. You had me quit my job because I'm gonna be a great emotional support. I'm gonna be there for you. For sure. I mean, I got your back. For if you, sure. If you in a coma, you can depend on me. Yes. You know what I'm saying? When you in your yes. 80s, I'm gonna be there to change your yes. diapers. This is what I am for you. But you get a shorty on the side, and I don't get no shorty. Or we don't have no conversation about the shorty. But the thing is, we know we have a conversation about the shorty. 65. He shorty still might want him because he's valuable. <laughs> when you turn sixty five, the, 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 there's a difference. It's a difference. Not saying. Let's be real. As a human, you're valuable. He said. As a human, you're valuable. Yeah, I'm talking about you saying getting a shorty on the side for you. Well, how many niggas gonna want sixty five year old woman? <laughs> a lot of them. No, 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 no. It's a man for everybody. Trust him, but oh, I don't here know. we go. It's the a man for everybody. everybody. The if you all don't all be trying to mess with the pool, man. Don't be trying to mess with the pool. All my aunties is fine. All my hey, hey, what's your auntie number? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Sit up just like this. Okay. Oh yeah, my aunties is fine. Hey, they show me the Instagram. Hey, they single. Yeah, let me see. Let me see your auntie. Show me that. This is what we were trying to get to. We trying to get to the auntie. But it's a real question because I feel like a lot of women, if they're if they start to get of a certain age, they're gonna start worrying about, especially in the generation we grew up in it's very independent i'm an independent woman and i feel like a lot of people women are starting to regret that now later in life they teaching younger women hey be independent you don't need a man forget but men we always say we want a woman oh yeah I, we want to you know someone have sex with us but that's not the main point we want to build empires we want to build have kids and have that one person that we could come to to for advice and mm-hmm. love and all mm-hmm. that stuff but it feels like there's more women with the idea now that it's like, yo, we don't need y'all. And it, and that's not making, you know. I, I don't just don't think your that. scenario plays out the same <laughs> in 2021 <laughs> that it did in 1981. For sure. It's too, yeah. It's, because what, women, my girls, my, my girls just, the amount of discretionary income that black women have, you know, completely exceeds our male counterparts. Um, mm-hmm. We are higher educated. We are making more money than our black but male counterparts. But don't you still want to fit? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Somebody to take out the trash. Absolutely. But but so I would like, I would give I come the on, thing about son. it is for me to take find out. I'm in love. You for me trash, to find man. my Mr. Right and for him to agree yes. that Mr. Right for me is going to want to do everything he can to help me with the business because he's going to be like damn you have first of all the fact that you hold a full time job and you have a business mm-hmm. that's thriving. 
and your mom. You've done the kid thing. So there, I just feel like. The but what if he just wants you to stay at home with the kids? Would you have a problem I, with that? I'm not. Well, at I, this point, yeah. She, cause, I'm not necessarily that. We just had yeah. that conversation. This point that would make sense with a lot. I just That's don't know. Thing. You know, one of my besties, um, and I hope she doesn't mind me telling the story, but she, um, you know, has always been an independent woman. And she met, you know, her husband, which we've known each other since we were younger, but ended up, you know, been together like 10 years. They just got married in the last few years, have a beautiful daughter and. I know there was a time she really struggled with. He was like, you don't have to work, you know, mm -hmm. um, and he's in education mm -hmm. and he's, you know, done, paid his dues to wear his, the, the way they've set their lifestyle up. She didn't have to work. And it made her feel really uncomfortable and really inadequate for a long time because that just wasn't innately in her. She just felt like she was letting the time was going by and she mm -hmm. wasn't utilizing her skills, which takes a toll on a woman emotionally. It takes a toll on how you are, how you feel about yourself physically, mm -hmm. mentally, which again starts to affect your household. So, you know, it, when they had um, their daughter and she really was like, listen, I really want my, and they got married and it was like, mm -hmm. I really want my wife. I think them getting, once they got married and had the daughter, mm -hmm. I think she settled in, she felt more comfortable because now it, her job was housewife and mother to the child. So that she could kind of equate. Oh, so you said pre kid, she didn't job. feel good about it. No, she was, she was, she was bored. I think when she got had. Yeah, because right. everybody gets bored. I, I mean, yeah. like, but why can't you find a charity to go help or something? I just Wait, don't know if I'm built to be the type of woman that's okay <laughs> just. And then are and you, I you say that. Hold on, hold on, finish that statement. What you I, I don't know that I'd be the type of woman that I just have so many just out of the box ideas and goals but and you don't feel you I the type of do. woman or what um submit to, to be, be no 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 i i am a i'm a feminine energy woman so i naturally submit to a, a masculine energy man mm -hmm. it's just how how it works it's yin and yang you know what i mean but i just the way that i'm wired as a professional woman as a marketer as an idea person you know i don't know that i would be completely fulfilled in my heart being told like I don't have to do anything. Okay, what well, gotcha. if I tell you you'll never be completely fulfilled? <laughs> Nobody's completely it's fulfilled. True. It's, it's possible, true. yeah. It's so true. would you rather do that in a marriage, be not completely fulfilled, or would you rather be by me yourself? Personally, and not be right now, I'm probably gonna get on the bus and go with my man. Yeah, I bus, personally, yeah. that's just me. That's personally. just where you yeah. where I'm at. In this yeah, but I, I, but I think at that, yeah. different ages, you're in different places. For sure, so I like, agree. Like like relating to your mother, right? Yeah. So. I'm 45, mm -hmm. right? And so I have a beautiful. First, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah, y'all don't look any. Yeah, y'all. First off, the skin, the me. everything. But, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> don't don't do that. Y'all don't look anything, y'all. I'll be 45 you, in October. But okay. yeah, no, y'all. Yeah, honestly, I, nothing like that. But go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I'm 45, yes. and like I said, I've been married before. Mm -hmm. um, I've been engaged before, and and now I'm in a in a in a in a long distance relationship. Gotcha. So. I have been in lots of various types of relationships yeah. and at different points in my life I was looking for different things. Yep. Yeah. So when I was younger when I first got married to Anthony I was looking for my life partner yeah. for my life. Like he was supposed to be it. That's it. That's all him. That's it. When that didn't work it put me in a weird space. Because he because cheated? You said he cheated? No. Oh okay, my bad. No, no. Um, when, um, when I, when we, when we broke up and I was back out in the field again, I was, I didn't know what I was looking for then. Okay. So I was like low key, a little confused yeah, on yeah, what yeah. exactly do you want now? Cause I don't know if I want to have any more children. I don't, you know, I can, but do I really want to? Yeah, yeah. And it just was a weird space and I got engaged and then that didn't, you know, I was like, mm, I don't think so. Let me get this back to you. Gotcha. You know, and then now in my life, I think now that I'm in my 40s, I make my own money. Mm -hmm. I can do my own thing. I I can live the way I want to live. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, you know, I'm good. Are you so, content being alone with that though? No, but the thing that I noticed that what I'm looking for now is I'm looking for someone to get old with. For sure. To And to actually, and it's really morbid, but somebody that I would trust if something were to happen yeah. to me. And that, that's a different place. That's not something I even thought about it's in my thing. 20s yeah. or my 30s. But it is something that is real in my 40s because now, you know, in your 40s, you start losing older friends, yeah. like your big, yeah, big yeah. bros, big aunts, uncles. Yeah, yeah. And you see the way their, how, you know, their Time families out. are destruct, you mm -hmm. know, destroyed mm -hmm. when, when that person is lost. And mm -hmm. so it's like now when I'm looking in, you know, at a person in a relationship, I'm like, can this person hold me down? in my worst hour yeah or in my final hour and it's you know completely different look and i heard Absolutely. somebody say like you kind of break life down in the sections of 30 like the first 30 is you know fun figure it out da, mm. da, da. 
second 30 is build live lavish you know 30s 40s you know you got your business da, da, da. and then they say the last 30 which is from 60 and on is like it's your serving time and that's mm. what kind of, you know what i'm saying which is you know you serve the community you serve the world so it's interesting that you say it is different points of your life so i could you know i could see that you guys are at different points of your life it's not like we talking to to two 21 year olds right. <laughs> you know what i'm saying you guys have things going on but with things going on Let's jump. I want to jump into what you guys going on, but that okay. was that was that was, that was good. I'm glad we had that. Was, that was a good <laughs> yeah. that was a good conversation. I like that. I like that. Look, I so had to be quiet before we got to you know. I had. Oh yeah. Didn't work. I'm you know what? You on the bus? I'm look, off the bus. Look, look today. Let me not find this product went away and y'all got married. <laughs> let me, let me, <laughs> look, today is gonna be about condition her, but we we got to bring y'all back when our boy. But we're gonna have to really dive in. We got to deep dive. Yeah, we got to talk more about this. Bring us back. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why my relationship. Okay. For the first we're gonna have we're gonna have a real time. okay. We'll have that dime. I'm down, and that's gonna be the whole conversation. We're gonna talk about nothing now. We're just gonna die. We're gonna deep ooh, dive. Ooh. Uh, but Hope him and his wife don't watch. But <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, all right, you have this product, condition her. Let's, I guess, give a quick spill yeah, uh, on. I wait first, okay. just tell people what it is, and then I kind of want to go into like. How the idea is So I'm going to set us up like this. Okay. So Eugenia and I have been best friends for over 20 years, since our very early 20s. Gotcha. Um, sister friends running the streets of L.A. Yep, yep. Um, doing big things. And um, life took us different paths. She moved back to L.A. after the divorce. Mm-hmm. And, I, and Amber Raspberry and I had a mm-hmm. business together. Um, shout and out to I was Amber. Like, You're going to help yeah, us with this business, right? Shout out to Raz. Um, we've all been employed entrepreneurs at mm-hmm. some point in our life, kind of juggling and balancing our day jobs Mm -hmm. um, with our entrepreneurial um, aspirations. And so we've done a lot of consulting over the years, um, product placement, all of these things. We've never owned our own Mm -hmm. brand. And the the, the truth of the matter is, um, the the story goes, um, I was dating long distance. Okay. Um, a brother. What was long distance? Like, where were you? He's in Chicago. Okay. He's from Chicago. Brooklyn, but lived in Chicago. Shout okay. out to you. You know who you are. Hey. You dating thugs out here? <laughs> from Brooklyn to Chicago? That's a. <laughs> who are we going to date in LA? Brothers, uh, brothers do not come to LA to be like, let me go find my wife. Let me go build my family. They come here to chase dreams and chase skirts. You better get and, out of LA now. And <laughs> absolutely, right? Um, so, anyway, he, um, <clears throat> after a, a, a few trips, he was like, so. The next time time you come, can you not wax? I was like, sir, come again, oh, excuse wow. me? Can you huh? not Machine. wax? What? Can I not wax? I mean, and I, a good little two-finger landing strip. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, hey, land the plane. Yeah, the plane going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you Piece up, down, little two-finger landing strip button, down. <laughs> Piece up, three. landing strip down. <laughs> and I thought I was good, right? And so um, I'll, pref- I'll preface with, I've been getting bikini waxes since I was 18. Gotcha. And I say that because a lot game. of, you know, like a lot of black women, I'm, I'm a preacher's kid. Tattoo, child out of wedlock, mm, total mm-hmm, future's mm-hmm. kid. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. hey, shout out to the PKs. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but, um, you know, a lot of us weren't even allowed to shave our legs till we was 32. You know what God. I mean? Like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. growing oh, up, no, you, no, no. you can't even shave your legs. <laughs> so I started getting bikini wax when I was 18, and I, I grew up in Diamond Bar, and my esthetician was a white woman. And she told me straight up, you know, don't always be careful with who you allow to do your bikini waxes moving forward in life because black women's hair grows differently. Yeah, And the sure. wrong wax pulled the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, You're going to get ingrown. It's like black men going to the barbershop. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you got to cut but the hair the right area. Yeah, yeah, it has to be applied in a certain direction and removed. They have to gotcha. get to know your hair pattern. Okay. And a lot of folks don't. They just slack it on and mm, do whatever. And then gotcha. you're like... So I always remember that. So I was always just very particular about mm-hmm. that area. So when he was like, can you not wax? And I was like, what do you mean? Why? And he's like, well, I just prefer hair. And he's like, not like a bush out here, but just more. He was doing like this hand motion. Out, and I, right, just, just do it. That's a, that's a lot, bro. It's like Lady, Finding Nemo, right? We just want a, we just right. want a little more. He just want a little more like this, more right? Hair. You know, and we I just like, want to separate, you know? Right. <laughs> Put the bloods and the crips over here. That just, is hilarious. You just right? want a little. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. He's like, I was like, what does that mean? I was like, so you want to see, like if I have all my panties, you want to see a little bit outside oh, of the no. panties. And he was like, yeah. All right, let me quick story right there. Hold on, put a pin on the different page. Yo, yeah, we uh, no, no, (laughs) page, book, different book. Um, here's the thing. It's funny. Uh, I have a story that me and my homie share about a a young lady who was till this day we call her (laughs) 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 fur bikini because (laughs) fur bikini (laughs) because a great superhero. He said he (laughs) went down there. He put his hands down there. He felt. It was like a fur baby. He said he went to the other side. Oh, 
<laughs> Look how far he went. Yeah, he, he, was, <laughs> he said he he wandered through the fur ocean. And I think she, I think she felt him w- w- wondering, so she took his hand and, and moved it, and it was real awkward after that. <laughs> well, listen, you know see, the person, so we gonna talk about that afterward. Ooh, That's yeah, funny. I need an oh yeah, no, for sure. But anyway, go ahead. But no, he preferred just more hair. He didn't want a bush, like a bush of hair. Right, right. right. He didn't want the, the fur. He wanted the fur. Okay. He wanted the fur. He, he wanted like the light. He just wanted like the a fur ocean. ocean. The fur. And I asked, you know, we had a full conversation. Yeah. He said, you know, the presence, and he's now in his forties too. He's a little younger than me. But he said the presence of pubic hair in his adolescence growing up when he would see that with girls or women yeah, growing yeah, up yeah. was like, but like, oh, she's a grown woman. Mm-hmm. So as okay. he got older, just that just always he just that presence of. It's and I think thing. he probably had a little porn addiction, you know. For sure. I mean, we, I think we all did. Right. Yeah. We all did. I'm just getting over mine. Right. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I did. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, so like, oh, like, man, Kirk Franklin said you was going to throw him away and oh, go yeah. trash and call him like. <laughs> You know you wanna. <laughs> anyway, he back. damn sure hopped in that trash. Yeah, he did. Right? Yeah, he did. That's and he went back in the trash and got oh, it yeah. out. God. So anyway, I said we talked about it. We laughed about. It. I was like, okay, you know, because mm-hmm. it costs money to wax and yeah. it's a little painful. And not only do you got to wax, they got to go in with the tweezers oh, and yeah. fuck. I don't know. If Get y'all in know. there. Like it's a procedure. Ooh, yeah. So I was like, oh, cool. Well, that don't have no beady bees down there. Man, so like, man. <laughs> that's the pulling out I'm chunks out of your skin. But the beady bees is why our product is great. We help you with that. So my my some other girlfriends were in town that weekend in Chicago and I went to and we did what girls do we had girl chat and we tell all the business you know mm-hmm. if y'all send in little photos your little dick pics and stuff we see them we see ain't them all. A, ain't a little you know they, 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 well I'm just saying speak for yourself <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying we show <laughs> we show no, no, for sure for sure, for sure. absolutely you know, it's, it's happy hour and we're, we're drinking quite a bit and we're, I'm telling them oh, this brother you know he asked me to grow my hair they're like what I was like man it's taking me back to my teenage days what I did in my teenage days they're like what'd you do I was like, oh, I used my hair conditioner on my pubes. Duh. You didn't use your hair conditioner? <laughs> that you makes didn't, sense. You didn't use your suave or your pantene, you know, yeah. cause, pantene, because on, on hair wash days for black women, like, that's, you bring your, back in the day, you bring your radio in, yeah. you bring that's hilarious. Kool-Aid in the back. <laughs> bring your radio you bring, in. You know, you bring your drink, yeah. your old pager back in Why's the day. Why's all this yeah. sugar in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. It was a scene. You had to have everything, because you're going to be in there for a little while yeah. trying to wash your hair. And so yeah. for me, what, what it was, was that at a young age, in my teenage years, I had an intimate skincare regimen and a lot okay. of people don't realize you do even if you think about how you get in the shower yep. and you grab your towel how you even wash your own intimate mm-hmm. space i'm sure if you when if not thinking about it when you do you you start from one side to another mm-hmm. there's things that you just do it's your natural mm-hmm. routine you know when you maybe you rinse off first before you grab your soap mm-hmm. maybe you go straight into soap before whatever it is a lot of us have regimens but we don't really think about right, that right, right. so that's cool okay. it made me i told the girls that, that i would you know use that and they just like all went nuts like what you did and then they started to confess so uh, mm. one or two was like oh i used to do that and then <laughs> oh, one was i use like, honey girl right one was like, well, <laughs> i honey, never used it what? to soften hair you know but i used it as a shave cream so the bottom line is women were putting hair conditioner regular hair conditioner yeah, in that yeah. area and was it was it effective or was actually doing what yeah, they I thought like whether it was softening or scent no. no was yeah, it yeah. unhealthy absolutely absolutely and but we decided that evening they were like hey if you make a product what are you gonna call it i was like i don't know let's call it sham pussy so we sham pussy i ain't mad at sham pussy that's <laughs> we were going to make and that's so solid. that just killed the evening because now we're on the floor we've already been drinking <laughs> yeah, rose yeah, yeah. Yeah. In. so ev- everything the whole night was about sham pussy but i'm a marketer and yeah. i woke up the next morning and i couldn't stop thinking about it and was like well, what would I use if yeah, I was trying to right. now maintain this? So I start Googling nothing. Nothing was nothing there. This was up. 2013. Gotcha. Nothing was there. And I called Eugenia the next day. I was like, girl, I think I think I got something for us to look into. I was mm-hmm. like, look this up and see what you find. But I can't find anything. I think we need to make something for pubic hair. We didn't know what it was. <laughs> All that months went by. And we, you know, I kept researching. And it, finally, a few months in, we were still taking it serious. And we were like, what are we going to call this? We can't call it sham pussy because... We don't need what we had found out by then by in a bunch of forms. Mostly European women were complaining about their pubic hair, mm. but it wasn't about how to wash it. Mm. They were asking how to soften it because the hair on their head was vastly different from the mm. hair yeah, in that yeah, area. Sure. And at the time, people were there was like like uh, uh, IG was just starting. Yeah, people weren't yeah, like yeah, on yeah, Twitter yeah. talking about that right, area, yeah, and so yeah. in these forums, women were, and so they were trying to figure out. And inevitably, every other line was, "You should have you ever thought about." using your hair conditioner. You should talk to your doctor, but try your hair conditioner. So it's like everyone's doing it. No one mm. thinks it's safe. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, a friend of ours, I, I mentioned it to a guy friend of ours, and he's like, what are you gonna call this thing? And I said, I don't know. And he said, go get your credit card. And he went on godaddy.com right then, and he typed in condition her. 
Oh wow! And that's how we named the the product. She called me. I called I her. Like, okay, first off, the I name is like, phenomenal. Because okay, Wendy comes up with great ideas all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. who just who she is. She's she's outside the box. Yeah, She'll yeah, call yeah, you. Yeah. She'd be like, Yeah, you know, I've been chilling. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I was just thinking. Yeah. And then you know, she comes yeah, up with these yeah, ideas yeah, all the time. Yeah. But this one, when she called me with the name, I was like. This is something. No, for sure. Because mm-hmm. that, na- that name rings. Exactly yeah, that, that, that. What, what, what she had been talking about. Yeah. You can easily hear this in Target. Him. Yeah, condition, condition her. her yeah. Target and all the We all condition him too. So it only happens. Oh, yeah? Right. All right. It's, it's, oh, it's for this area. Know. We'll explain. Right. But okay. basically, that's what set us on fire. So from mm-hmm. 2013 to maybe for the next couple of years, we tried to make it. And we knew about private labels. I used to work yeah. with Shawana gotcha. at yeah, Fred yeah. Siegel. And so yeah, we yeah. knew that brands, that like beauty brands and things, they would do this thing called private labels. So if any of you are out there and you want trying to make a lip gloss, or a new lotion, some sort of beauty product. Mm-hmm. Fellas, you're trying to make your own beer, whatever it is. Right. There are labs that private label and they're nice. these base formulas and you work with them to kind of customize. You don't oh, own cool. the formula, you're basically licensing good. from them. Oh, that's dope. So okay. we went through that private label process and just wasn't setting well. All the labs were owned by men. They were kind of more so asking us what we wanted in it. Mm-hmm. We was like, I don't know, argon oil, little shea butter, we don't know. We about to, <laughs> we about like, to okay. They're like, okay. <laughs> so we about yeah, yeah. to devastate coochies worldwide. Yeah, we about yeah, to just yeah, kill yeah. the whole <laughs> And in twenty going into twenty sixteen, I was on vacation um, with Amber. Yeah, and excuse me, our first stop was the jacuzzi, and we dropped our bags in the room and got to the jacuzzi, and there was a family in there and a woman, and I. She, we started talking, very small setting, and um, turns out she was a PhD biochemist, mm. and she was visiting the visiting her boyfriend, her American boyfriend. Uh, she's from Europe, and she was with her daughter, and we got to talking, and I didn't I didn't know what a biochemist was. She just kept saying it over and over. And they were really trying to figure out how these two black, we were the only two black women at the entire yeah, resort yeah. that weekend, uh, how, how we got there. Right. And um, I told them, you know, I work at a studio, whatever, whatever. And uh, she said, I'm making an organic toothpaste right now. I said, I'm sorry, you making what? And she said, I'm a biochemist. And she explained to me, like, I make things. And it hit me. And I said, I've been trying to, I've, it's 2016 now. I've been trying to make this product since 2013. Mm-hmm. She said, I said, it's a conditioner. I said, but it was for here. It took her a few minutes, language barrier. Yeah. yeah. And she jumped up in the jacuzzi, grabbed me by my arms and literally physically shook me. <laughs> where did I get this, where this okay. idea came from? She said it's brilliant and God showed her my aura when we walked in there and that she was supposed to help me and that I would own the formula, we wouldn't be private labeling, mm. I would own the formula and that she would be coming back from her country in Europe. It turns out she was the head of, head of biochemistry oh, the head at of the bio, university okay. that she works at. Uh, wow. And she came back and we met in Napa four months later with our samples. Um, it still took us another three years to raise the money which is a big plight a big difficulty and a barrier for black women yes we are starting businesses and being entrepreneurs at a greater rate but the the, the struggle for money is real and we funded this um, product with my 401k Wow, my job. look at that, wow. And so those were 401k loans that we invested in ourselves because we knew we had something. The formula is phenomenal. So what Condition Her is, is Condition Her. We It is not a shampoo. It is not to clean. It is to add moisture. And a lot of women, those of you that struggle with ingrown hair, this mm-hmm. is, we are talking to you. Mm-hmm. Those of you that chafe, and listen, you don't got to be thick, thick, you know, in the thighs to chafe. You could be a runner. You could be a cyclist. Men chafe. Mm-hmm. Children chafe. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I used to be real thick, so I used to chafe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little chafe. A little chafe um, ladies, know. little under boobs. Some of them chafe yeah, yeah. the boobs. I don't have that problem, apparently, yeah. but you know. <laughs> others do. So the 34B section, we don't have that problem. Uh-huh. A 34A, let me go down. Let me be <laughs> real. But um, anyway, mm-hmm. we launched in June of 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, thanks to Blavity, they did an event um, called 2190, and it was in Atlanta, and I flew out, and we got to do a gifting situation there, and that was our jump. Um, we just like hit the ground running mm-hmm. and um, it was really slow going for us from June until January of last year. We had a very nominal approach like this is new. Yeah. You know, we hope to sell one or two tubes a day mm-hmm. because it's not like this is a lotion meant for your body mm-hmm. or something like we're asking women to put a moisturizing cream. I don't even think I said, think I said what it is. Condition her is a daily use. Okay, daily all natural use. Okay. moisturizing cream meant for the intimate areas on your body, namely okay. the vulva. Mm-hmm. Fellas, do yes. you know what the vulva is? I got one of those, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we got one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right up under the, yeah, right under the scroll. Oh, oh, I thought it was the 
Oh yeah, that's the bad the badminton what, game. Vo- but volleyball. It's like the little. I don't know. Do we, <laughs> do we explain need what, what volleyball is, please. <laughs> See, this is where it gets problematic, ladies. You just letting them all up in the pool. They don't even know what it is. You know, yeah. Of course we know, but we just want people I to know get educated. Who I is. We, you know who we, I is. We, we want people to be educated, okay. so you know, you go ahead. And you, that's yeah. a big point about this product. There's a lot of education. Just as these are things we learned in second, yeah. third, and grade about our body, yeah. and so. We call her out of her name often, you know. Mm-hmm. This product is made for the vulva. That is the external part of your vagina. The vagina is the internal canal mm-hmm. that leads to your cervix, where your tampons go, where other things go, or you hope they go. In, in the pandemic, not so much. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Spoken from a true single woman, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> but you get the point. Um, and so it's everything external, all the things y'all can't find, you know, the clitoris, <clears throat> all those things that are they external. No, no. You can't, no, no, yeah, we, we went on all first. in the vulva. We, we no, found, we found like judging yeah, my yeah, game. Yeah. All right, I yeah, studied I can't all find. the anatomy <laughs> yeah. of the vagitoris. All right, <laughs> okay, the vagitoris so, yeah, rex. The <laughs> That's the external part, that the top, the lady, yeah, yeah. the short lady. I'm like Nora Indiana Jones thing. when it comes Outside. to that pussy. <laughs> I, I am excavating this motherfucker. <laughs> and check right. it. All right, anyway. No, but that's what it is. You use it every day. So it's meant for that area. You can use it under your arms. A lot of women okay. shave okay. or get irritation under their yeah, arms. Yeah. And also in between your inner thighs for chafing. Mm-hmm. So is this for when you shave or not even if you shave? Yeah, so this okay. is perfect for use after First of all, daily use. It basically gotcha. it's your daily use lotion okay. gotcha. from belly button down. down in between your thighs. Okay, and then you pick up your suave, your whatever yeah, else yeah. you're using, your your, your Nivea, whatever mm-hmm. else you use, Jergens. <laughs> men, black men love some Jergens for some reason. Yeah, that Jergens, Jergens, it's Jergens, 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 <laughs> it was a black man. Yes, a That's black a man told the interviewee. I was like, you can't be smelling the clothes of the you. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's, but, um, That's yeah, hilarious. It's your daily use moisturizing yeah. cream. For the vulva, it's doing several things. Number yeah. one, it is helping you reduce the appearance of um, ingrown. Um, and I'm, I'm selling the technical because we're not technically allowed to say it eliminates because that's a medical claim. Gotcha. Even though it our does. customers have said it, el- it has gotcha. done that e word. Gotcha, gotcha. right? That e word. So it's E-word. reducing the appearance of ingrown hair and chafing. And for those that don't know what chafing is, it doesn't affect you. It's when your thighs touch, your inner thighs touch, and the friction causes redness and mm-hmm. irritation, right? And so um, it's dealing with that. Also, um, Men, it's unscented, um, and it, you can open this it. It's cream based yeah, here. Let yeah. me let me help you. Yeah, it's please, little, please. Um, it's cream based, so mm-hmm. we we. It's and if you see, if y'all can see this little tube here, um, mm-hmm. the artwork was done. We're our entire we're, we're a black woman. It's great company, art. but our entire team is a diverse group of women of color. Okay, nice. um, from our publicist, shout out to Amanda. Oh, you did open it. So our attorney. Yes. Our attorney, we had to fit. We our attorney is a white girl. Hey, Sarah. Is it Jewish? <laughs> is she girl. Jewish? We don't know. Is she? I don't know. No. I don't know if she is. No, what up, Sarah? But this, I'll like do it. the YouTube tutorial. So it's cream based, right? Yeah. And it's it's. I'm I'm. Can I? Can you got I some put nice looking condition? hands. You put a, you put that coochie cream on your hands. Too? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, 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 take your hands up here. You yeah. It is. <laughs> it is. It hey, is listen, really yeah. just. Hey, listen, ain't, it ain't like I ain't never had a little coochie cream on my hands before. You know what I'm saying? 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when we leave, you can be like, my hand still feels oh. so soft. So imagine okay. that. Okay. It also and you see how it's not greasy? Yeah, it's no, not greasy. It's not greasy. I, I hate it. greasy ass Yeah, products. where you be sliding. Yeah, it it, it also greasy. softens it doesn't the presence of hair if you keep hair. Gotcha. Which was our original, that's what we originally wanted to do. But when we mm. met our chemist, all I could tell her was we want a pubic hair conditioner to soften it. She's like, well, yeah. that's not what this is about. She's like, yeah, 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 I can do that. She's like, this is health and wellness. This product is perfectly pH balanced gotcha. for a woman's internal vagina. Yeah. So it helps maintain the vaginal flora that is healthy in there. So it's yeah. not throwing Get you off. A lot of right. things throw us off, fellas, like semen. Semen's That's hella true. alkaline. I, now, now, let, let me, uh, can we be honest for yeah, a second? Yeah, yeah. I've had issues in the past yeah. where for some reason I thought maybe I had dirty dick or something. <laughs> Like, and I would get extra nervous and start scrubbing more. But, (laughs) you know, maybe I have strong semen because I've caused a couple women, at least it feels like, Mm -hmm. to have maybe a little uh, yeast dog here and there. Yeast dog. (laughs) Yeast dog. And men don't and I, know. And I'm like, that can't be me. I don't know if I've ever felt speechless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> you don't think so? Like, well, like, yeast, but, I, <laughs> but like, I heard one. But see, one thing I found out after a while: some women don't know they have to like pee after they use, yeah, like, have yeah, sex yeah. sometimes because that cleans they do out. It after they should do it before. Before, yeah. before. Yeah. And, and, and see, I think the after. women I was with didn't know that at the time. But time. even yeah. still, yeah. there's yeah. so yeah. many yeah. things: yeah. men not washing your hands before you want to touchy touch. No, yeah, and no, you can't be in here with with hot sauce on your fingers, bro. You have a lovely beard, girl. You know what I got for you. Your beard carries things, and as much as we want you to deep sea dive. Yeah, you know, yeah. you gotta make sure go down you, south and the with first it. sea. You know yeah. what I mean? There's a, so many things, and again, your <laughs> semen is like um, it's it's extremely alkaline. It throw we it it throws off our pH. Yeah, I drink a lot of alkaline water too. So it, yeah, yep, it yeah, throws us sense. off. And the, uh, every man that I've talked to, I'm like, you've all had a woman over your time where you've been dating a woman and she smelled she had a little off scent a little bit, but uh, you weren't sure you just thought maybe that's yeah. pheromones okay cool yeah, yeah. and you didn't really know quite until you got with the next one and she didn't smell that way yeah and yeah, no yeah, sir yeah. let me tell you what that was that was called bv mm. bacterial mm-hmm. agenosis okay mm. she had a little something off and that's a, there's a high level of communication that needs to exist all you young folks out there now out here think you're trying to hit it and quit it condoms throw some women off some yeah, women yeah, yeah. are allergic to condoms and yeah. That you know those spermicides and things that are off. So you know that's why I said a lot of these guys like young women, like eighteen. Mm-hmm. And shit. As soon as they, they, who were they talking about recently? That was like, oh, she eighteen now. Oh, that baddie bad, bad, bad baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, like it's a good like. But I usually just think these girls got dirty pussy. <laughs> these young <laughs> dirty pussy. They just don't know. They, they don't know. Yet. I'm saying yet. they don't yeah, know how to don't. wash Man. themselves. There's right? A lot they of grown just out women here that dirty. don't know I mean, either. I mean, We've yeah. had them tell us. They put this inside, and we were like, oh, didn't oh, come with an right. insert. So oh, Lord. How'd you get it in? Oh, they was in there. <laughs> so we've gotten a lot of, you know, a lot. This product is for women of all ages, especially yeah, yeah. women, you know, from 12 and up. We have a seven and an eight-year-old client because they chafe, and their parents mm. wanted something natural. Gotcha. For those of yeah, you yeah. women that are like, oh, I don't know if I could use that because I'm super sensitive. Yeah. Some of our biggest customers have eczema, sebaceous cysts. Mm, mm. My gynecologist is down with us, loves us. Estheticians, yeah. we are esthetician approved. They actually, we actually wholesale to lots of estheticians, estheticians because they do vajacials, mm. which is like a a, 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 yeah, yeah, a, a, a facial for this area, yeah, yeah. and it is a post. So I've for those a of you that are wax, definitely done a couple of vajacials. Right? You know, I, I provided some vajacials. You know Shout out to the vajacials. <laughs> but if you wax or you laser or you sugar or you shave. This is the perfect post. I take I laser. Okay. I take that with me because after letting my little hair grow out, because of Wendy, boy, I laser too. And dating, I heard a lot of women are laser. Yeah. My I girl has lasered laser. her whole goddamn body. It seems like. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> black women. For those of you that don't, you can laser. That has yeah, been yeah. a big. It, it wasn't even a misconception. It is very true that at one time, one point in time, the lasers were not meant. Gotcha. Um, our skin, the color of our skin, and the dark hair, they mm-hmm. couldn't pick it up, so it was very painful and not as effective. They have since changed those lasers, so make sure you inquire. Um, those that are doing laser, they're they are done by RNs, and so they're medical professionals, so inquire. You know, do you have a lot of black um, clientele here? And um, customers here, and so mm-hmm. after we, after me and old boy broke up and I was down, you know, done growing out my bush that <laughs> activated all these, what happened was I had been waxing for so long that it had deaded, kind of deaded out hair follicles. Mm. And so after letting it grow out for so long, for two, three years, it activated those hair follicles that had never, so when the relationship was over, I, at the time I was getting waxed, I was on my girl Connie's table like, girl, get it all, legs <laughs> in the air. Take it. it, up, Yo. get it. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, oh, my kitty's not that pretty. Like, I've got these dots, and then you're gotcha. picking. Mm. And so it took me going into laser. And But the product is, listen, even if it wasn't ours, our the fact that we have a woman PhD biochemist that took such good care of this formula and I always you know people ask what's in it and I think that's important I brought a few notes just to let you guys know Um, some of the key ingredients are shea butter and I read that off we are not chemists we are not doctors so I do read you know what part of the ingredients are shea butter it's antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory rich in vitamin A and vitamin E to help nourish the skin Mm -hmm. It has German chamomile, and that's helping the the dry hair. It's actually helping your pubic hair gotcha. if you keep it. And this is for whether you are bare or prefer hair. Okay, mm-hmm. all natural to straight up, nada. Ba- yeah, baby coochie, as the men say. <laughs> um, and it it also helps <laughs> maintain a uh, pH balance. The, the German chamomile. Yeah. Um, olive oil for its moisturizing, anti aging. It's actually deep cleansing okay. and refreshing after shave. Yeah. Which that is, we'll Greek get into pussy. The yeah. And then finally, what we consider our hero product. One of the ingredients is cotton oil. 
You'll notice cotton a lot oil. of skincare okay. brands cotton are bringing oil. cotton oil into their formulas. I've yeah. noticed that Burt's Bee has cotton oil now in their skin mm. moisturizers, but it's anti-inflammatory for the skin and its conditioning properties for the hair. So that those are some of our ingredients. Um, it's unscented, although we do have a scented version coming through. What's the first scent that you're coming through with? You know yet? Yes, it should. If we stick with what we have, it will be um, Jasmine. Jasmine. Ooh, okay. Jasmine. Little, little Jasmine. Yeah, and one of the one of the biggest things that I always say is that our product is has been tested, okay. and most products in the United States for this area don't even have to be tested. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's deep, which is huh? what like Jessica Alba and deep. Honest Brand they're really fighting for like stricter regulations. Yeah, yeah. We were made and manufactured in Europe, and European Union don't play that. Like we had gotcha. to pass certain stability tests and gotcha. everything. And the FDA has certain like right now, the FDA testing we would need to do and all of the certifications would be so that we we want to get ourselves set up to be a medical product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we can say things like eliminate because it does and make those claims because mm -hmm. it really does. Um, and then another thing that's happened is men, because we know y'all nosy, and you, you you pick up our products in the bathroom, and you smell them. I know what you're talking about. And you pick this lovely tube up, and you saw this amazing artwork by our girl Kendra Dandy. Shout out to Shout um, out Kendra. Our work's dope. Shout out Kendra. Dope, yeah. Black woman did this amazing artwork. Um, and you realized it was unscented, and you figured, mm, if it works on their razor, on their ingrown hairs, let me see. And you put it on, and you went one like this, and it was magic. So it so put it on the beard. Look. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. And it if you have razor your beard, bumps, if you have razor bumps, days, day, well, after gone. you shave, okay. you get that itchy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It would eliminate. Oh and yeah. So, I'm about to know. condition her. Yeah. And on the back him. of the neck. <laughs> on him. And the back of the neck. Okay. You know, yes. Like, like I'll, I, 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 I need that. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody some at to work and it was like, look, like just ignore the woman on the box. Ignore that. I was like, you know, he had his problem on the back of the neck. I was like, just put a little bit every. Yeah. You know what? Nicki Minaj said in the song "Bed Rock," put the pussy on your sideburns, but now put the pussy on the back of my neck. There you, know, you go. Yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. So my brother also <laughs> says something about men get like, like he says he gets dandruff either from the mm. beard or his yeah, yeah. ear or whatever and he said that it has taken that away. That's so, dope. Okay. You know, we okay. do have conditioned him in the work and initially conditioned him we were going to make it for this area too. But once we were like, no, that's a beard and a neck cream. So that's, so that's coming. So that'll come later in that's there. And with awesome. a lot okay. of, you know, we are in the business. So we, we, get, we get the first We're now a, we consider ourselves a a lifestyle brand, an yeah. intimate care brand. So you can expect things like robes and panties and things. Nice, okay. And novelty. You That's can expect awesome. um, some things for even your children. We want to one-stop the entire home. And we want to use our success to, to invest back in ourselves and in our community mm -hmm. to help create generational wealth. So it's just been such an amazing journey to have, be working these. And, and be honest, we weren't really selling like I said, we launched in June of 2019. Okay, mm -hmm. here to get the timeline, guys. June of 2019, mm -hmm. we hit the ground running. We tried. Mm -hmm. We didn't have our marketing plans of yet. Course, yeah. we, we barely had a website. Eugene, we're everything. We're customer service, the whole nine. And in January of last year, we were like one to two tubes a day, which sometimes we weren't hitting that. Mm -hmm. um, the unfortunate murder of George Floyd which led to Blackout Tuesday. Wow. Completely shifted. Wow. Okay. The trajectory wow. of our business. Wow. Overnight. I've seen a we lot of, I've heard a lot of black businesses. to sell yeah. one, two tubes a day. We yeah. were doing a lot of gifting. Yeah, Every yeah. gift bag, NFL event this, yeah. celebrity right, right, event right. this. We were giving away hundreds at a time because we needed yeah, that. Just, it was yeah, an yeah. education process. But when I tell you Blackout Tuesday, because Blackout Tuesday was, was not, it was a music industry thing, but it wasn't defined. Nobody yeah, really knew what to do. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of got figured out as the day went along. And what yeah. it became was, let's support black-owned businesses. How did like, they find y'all in particularly the most? Uh, Fred, I mean, when I tell you there were 13-year-old little white boys like sharing in their IG story stuff. Oh, wow. Um, shout out to the phenomenal actress Danielle Brooks from mm. who played Tasty in Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She, Shawana, shout out to Be Beautiful LA. Mm -hmm. She introduced the product to her as a friend and was like, well, they'd love to gift you. And she just never, I, I, I know the day she came and to our page and liked some things. Yeah, for and I started sending her messages like, Danielle, thank you for coming. Yeah, Can you. we gift mm -hmm. you? She sent back a smiley face. And I was like, man, she's not answering. Can we gift her? And a couple weeks later, we got an order from Danielle Brooks. Hey, and nice. she bought it with her own money. Nice. And we were like so thankful, you know, sent a little thank you note. Mm -hmm. um, and Blackout Tuesday happens in a day, either that same day or the next day, she posted her top in her IG stories and on her page, her top 50 black owned businesses. Mm -hmm. And she listed us as number one, whether Ooh. that was in chronological order yeah, or it just, just was just yeah. happened. And that Oof, started. I know she got that two feeling. Million I know y'all were excited as hell. I was like, that. "What's going on?" 
But even prior to that, there had been some other little moments. There's a preacher's wife. Shout out to Adara Sharon in New York. And she, you know, she calls this little V. She calls this the V in virtue. And she says the praise <laughs> and worship must go forth. <laughs> That's funny. That's and, um, funny. And it solved a big problem. She her. had an issue and yeah, that she yeah. speaks publicly about. She had sebaceous cysts. Mm. And prior to getting married, you know, we had our samples for from 2016 to 2019. All we had were like little tests. And mm. we picked a small group to test. And she was one, and it worked for her. Wow. So as soon away? as we got the tubes, yep. Wow. And she was, as soon as we got the tubes, she was one of the first ones we gifted, and she went on and did like a whole oh, IG yeah. thing about it. Business and booming. It, it changed it, but it was really Blackout Tuesday that yeah. shifted the narrative for us, and we are so grateful. It was a beautiful disaster, something something. Yeah, because 2020 was a so wild, yeah. yeah. But we're wow. so blessed, and here we are now, you know, exceeding that and growing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and looking at what's the next steps we own our company wholly Absolutely. Um, come on but we now. need some money y'all if come you want to invest now. in a black woman owned business that's come going on places. now we gotta um i guess Hit we're about to wrap this up in a sec but i want to ask what was the initial if y'all don't mind sharing the initial investment for this was it was a uh, fifty thousand about fifty thousand okay. yeah because I just want to know for a lot of people that other you know they want to start business and stuff like that yeah fifty thousand and then also like like Wendy said Wendy's an amazing marketer and salesperson right. so that's yeah. her background we and here. then I'm finance and you know accounting that's right. my background so if I we would not have been able to do this if she wouldn't have done so much and I because you know we no, worked yeah. you hadn't told yeah. me that you could borrow against your 401k <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you tell me that honey. then I found out my job yeah. allowed three loans yeah, and I worked yeah. in TV marketing for a major a major studio yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like sign us up because we were having a big problem because you have to remember trying to sell a dream mm -hmm. like an idea yeah, no, is, sure. is it's almost impossible yeah. and we were going to meetings and when you're black it's even and we, yeah. you know we had the deck yeah, yeah. we had the whole nine and people just couldn't get it they would be like is it edible like they just didn't yes. get is that it, it was edible? health and wellness oh, product yeah, you know yeah. no, and i told wendy i was like we've got to <laughs> we've got to actually bring it to the marketplace yeah. in order yeah. for people to really get it that's awesome there's like, a lot of people that are out here trying to figure out how the hell do i yeah, get money for, sure. for my brand yeah. and I, they see y'all doing this is very i'm proud of y'all this is you. a great no, this product is amazing. um i think it's gonna sell a lot hopefully we can invest a couple uh Hundred bucks and, Come and get on. something back. <laughs> to be honest, it has <laughs> been men. It has bucks? been no, we talk to be about really it. honest. It has been <laughs> black men. We really? really came in this like, oh, women, we're gonna get money. Yeah, women yeah, are gonna. Yeah. And that wasn't the black case. Man. It has been black men that have wow. stepped up and like, what do you guys need? Do you need some help? Shout we're out trying to, to figure it out. Shout out to my brother. Hey, hey, shout out to y'all, young brothers. Shout out to our 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 you know our homeboys, Kevin, Pierre, like everyone who's looked out for us and have asked us. And I just want to leave before I know we're wrapping up, but I want to leave a message for everybody because listen we're no different than anybody we both get up and work full-time jobs Gina mm -hmm. has an incredibly demanding job so um do so do you and and so do I and we are no different than anybody else for those of you that are at home fellas you've been you done tied your sneakers in a certain way or done something to manipulate the basketball that does something different ladies you've been taking your scrunchie and twisting it to the left and to the right and it's doing something for you that probably the lady down the street could use if she knew you mm -hmm. had this contraption never sell yourself short you know do the digging do the research we didn't know we didn't know how to make no coochie cream. No coochie conditioner. <laughs> we didn't know like what you know how you didn't know about. We didn't want to make a coochie conditioner. How did, oh, yeah, we didn't know yeah, you know yeah. the patents and the trademark process and you know getting the approval and the fact that you we needed a whole attorney separate from our attorney that did packaging to tell us that you can't say this on the tube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, great. You like you can't I, say this. Yeah, you yeah. don't you don't know right. stuff like that. So I just encourage you to. Follow your dreams. I don't care what it is. Is it yeah. a new journal line? Is it a new line of sneakers, shoelaces, juice? I saw. I met a black woman on Clubhouse who makes cake mix. Now we we we'll bake some cakes, but she actually Made owns the, the, the mix. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. You know, and I thought, how that's phenomenal awesome. is that? Yeah, and right. so I just want to encourage you guys, like, chase your dreams, chase your wildest dreams, yeah. the yeah. impossible. Somebody out there is trying to do the same thing. Find community. Find we got a whole set tight click. A business besties that have everything. Y'all gotta have some of them. One's Claire Alba. She owns The Layer. Visit getthelayer.com. Get layer, okay. It is a sex blanket for all y'all mm. all skeet, 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 skeet squirters. A sex yep. Blanket. For those of you that I like to run. For those of you that don't mind running red lights. <laughs> mm. 
No, no, I stop. I'm just stop saying, it, yeah. red, red lights, yeah, that, that's the sex blanket. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so for those of you in committed relationship and your husband or your man shooting up the club, you're going to go get our girl Francis's. You're going to go get the drip stick <laughs> by Awkward Essentials. And the drip stick is an after sex cleanup sponge that looks like a little sponge on a tampon and a it goes drip up. Stick. Yes, do you yeah. want to get the drip stick? We Shout out to all Francis. Of the intimate girls. Um, ladies. You, you have a problem like our homegirl who um, went to get a, her first Brazilian and it, they did overkill and they ripped her lips off. Ripped oh, the lips? Oh, my the God. Skin. They ripped the skin. Every time oh. I hear this story. Or you're going through menopause Shit. and you're achy down there. Yeah, you can go to privatepacks.com mm. and get the inserts that are heating and cooling inserts for your panties. You know what I'm saying? Those are the stuff. But that, oh. those don't bring back lips, though. No, but no, no, no. We need some during, lips. help during the soothing. Ladies, postpartum. Oh, the soothing, but yeah, postpartum, yeah. you need those soothing. And for those of you ladies that like ladies, but you want to keep it a little clean, or for you ladies that like men, and you want to do, do a little slow grind, a little cunnilingual, but you want, you're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> over to mylaurels.com mm-hmm. and you're going to get our homegirl Melanie's latex panties in three different sizes. So you got booty shorts, thongs, and bikinis. Okay. And you can get your little hump on, your little kind of linguals on in a clean way. So that's, that's amazing. That's you, y- a lot y- of women out is, here doing love, the damn thing. I love that y'all have a great. connection out there of people, a, a network yeah. of people. The they have a, they that's have what we're trying to do with our business. They have a click. Yes. The Not a clip. Besties, yeah. yes. yeah, I'm a little clip. worried that most of y'all are single. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then y'all need a man, but who needs a man? We gonna succeed. Let's you know go. what I'm saying? Condition her. And I, I will say, you know, no, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys. Like this yeah, this has been it. a great conversation. It's been great to have you guys on. Thank you. And you know, for those of you listening, wanna, you know, especially young black women looking to start look, listen, these they, listen, they doing it. You know what I'm saying? They out here doing it. And uh, yeah, I would say plug everything you guys got. Sure, you know what I'm saying you, so we sell you. direct to you guys. Um, estheticians, you want to wholesale? We do wholesale. We're super reasonable. Um, we sell direct to consumer from conditionher.com. You can visit our IG. Everything's at conditionher. Um, we are going through a rebranding to get some, you know, add some things like you want the, on the back of the tube right now. It says nothing about chafing because we didn't know. Mm, you guys told us, gotcha. and so we're rebranding. So we may be sold out for a little while soon. Um, all of you viewers and supporters of the Dormtainment guys, let me just give you guys your flowers because it's Appreciate so awesome it. to see young, handsome black men out here just. You know, being direct, talking about serious <laughs> topics, though, but in a fun, palatable yeah, yeah. way, yeah. having fun, being a distraction for all of us mm-hmm. and um, in Thank times you. that we Thank needed, you. you know, guys like you, D-Nice, all of you guys yeah, have yeah. A fine, found ways to keep us, you know, mentally sane during this time. We appreciate you. But that's where you can find us. And um, uh, for as long as we have product and we're not sold out until we come back, mm-hmm. um, you have a 15% discount on our site. Just hit conditionher.com and at checkout, apply the code dormtainment hey dormtainment and um, you will get your 15 percent off there and if it's sold out just hit us up and we'll make sure you know when it's coming and our back. community really supports so y'all you just like y'all support us it. and y'all support all do the, the other damn brand, thing do the damn thing go show up body body earrings there too they got well, earrings yeah, so y'all earrings. show up and then show these ladies some love man and make sure y'all tap in That's to nice. condition her dot com i don't know and so you you plugged all the ig's and yep. you, yeah and if niggas want to hit y'all personally and see they think they, <laughs> oh, they, they okay, on so here like me, oh they fine as hell what, okay, what, what, what they gotta do five, nine, okay 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 all okay. right okay. solid okay solid. i'm a libra shout out to the Libra. okay I'm cancer. okay, okay. Oh, you're, you're cancer. not single girl this is my time <laughs> <laughs> like look, my grandmama said you're single till you're married hey holla at a scholar you know what and that's why Look, Keenan, I, 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 I ain't say that. <laughs> we need some more drinks up in here. Hey, uh. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even That's drink. what my grandmama yeah, yeah. said. She over here said. Just, just pandering to the camera because gotcha. she knows she love her some her oh, boyfriend. Hey, that's cute. Shout out to her that's boyfriend because he's a good dude. He's Shout out to the good brothers out here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the good brothers. Shout out to the good brothers. As long as he, he, he black, right? Single you married. Ooh, I'm trying to save her. You see, she just keeps pulling her the Hey, if she throwing game to the streets. I'm here for it. I'm sorry, bro. From the streets they came, My from the streets we shall send them back. Over 80 years, okay? <laughs> Holla at a scholar. Holla at a scholar. Y'all are beautiful women. <laughs> we beautiful. appreciate Thank y'all you. coming on. Hopefully, we get Thank y'all you. back for Please. some other conversations. No, no, for sure. We got it. Yeah, that'll be dope. Um, Thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of Comedy Trap House. Make sure you keep uh, liking, subscribing. Uh, definitely this episode, I feel like it's going to be a lot of conversation going on <laughs> a lot. in the comments. Um, and uh, make sure you're still watching uh, Unknown Stories with 
no. untold stories. Untold with stories with unknown. People. It's always backwards. Yeah. Like, untold stories with unknown people. Uh, Black, on, o- Black Oak, Black Oak Doc TV. TV, and mm-hmm. uh, make sure you check out Boss Talk, ShadySideUp.com, um, and uh, yeah. Shout yes. out to uh, Cam. It's his birthday. Shout out to well, well it, it passed. Yeah, Cam. Yeah, birthday. So birthday. shout out to you. Sorry. You annoying nigga. <laughs> yeah, we tired of you. He gonna go to Bahamas on his birthday. Yeah, what, type of, what type of man want to go have fun on his birthday? Lame ass. Like me. <laughs> like me going to the beach, spending time by myself at the birthday. What, who want to do that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I wish I was there. Some condition Cam, too. Cam, you got some condition her. Don't tell him that. No, no. He, no he Cam, Cam needed for I'm his taking, vagina. I'm taking that one. Right Cam right. needed for his vagina. He does yeah, need no, it for his. <laughs> I heard he lost some lips too. <laughs> Anyway, we're All right, done. Y'all, we love you, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week. Peace.